Hey, what's up, everyone? In this video, I want to go over two automations that every business should have or two systems that every business should have in place in order to achieve maximum success. So what you see here is an email. This was a follow-up to a potential client that we contacted to help them recover their overage for them. Now, in your business, guys, you want to focus on two things primarily, especially when you're just getting started. And those two things are marketing and sales. Marketing is simply just letting people know what your service is and how you can help them. And then sales is getting them to agree to accept your help. It's where a transaction takes place. Could be where they sign a contract, where they pay you money, whatever it is. So in our business, in the overages business, marketing is contacting people or letting them know, hey, you have money available. We can help you recover it if you'd like at no upfront cost to you. We send out letters, we'll call people, send them our website, send emails, whatever it is, right? You can talk to them in person if you wish. But all of those things are just examples of marketing, simply letting people know how we can help them. Sales would be when somebody signs an agreement for us to actually go and recover their surplus for them. I would call that a sale in, in surplus funds or overages is when a prospect signs that agreement authorizing you to collect on their behalf and agreeing to you receiving a percentage for your work. Okay. That would be a sale. Now, the two systems you want to have in place or two automations is you want to have something that systematizes or automates your marketing and also your sales process, if at all possible. So I've kind of showed you guys in other videos, some things that we're testing right now to help with the marketing piece, to automate letting people know how we can help them. What you see here on your screen is an automation process for the sales piece of the business, okay? So this was somebody that had responded to a contact from us. Can't remember if it was a letter or I think it was a phone. Uh, I think we contacted them via phone if I remember correctly. Um, no, I take that back. They received a letter, then they called me and then we were able to send out the paperwork. So however you want to classify that, their first contact with us was via letter, then they reached out via phone call, okay? We sent them the paperwork, and what you see here is an automated email that we sent to them after we sent them the paperwork. And so this is the second automation or system process that you want to implement in your business is a system that automatically follows up with people that you have already communicated with, okay? In order to help them along the path so that they become an actual client, an actual customer, okay? So in fact, actually, you can kind of see um, to the left here. So we actually sent out paperwork on January 24th, okay? You can see here that this automation, this automated email went out on uh, February 5th, okay, right here. Now, here's what I want to show you. Is that I'm going to take you inside of my DocuSign account, okay? And you should be able to see that now. So this is inside my DocuSign account and the third packet down. Okay. Oh, too much there. There we go. So this one right here. Okay, let's see if I can. So this packet, you can see here it was completed on February 13th, okay? Now, that is super exciting, and here's why that's exciting. We only spoke to this person once. 
And it was simply to get their email address of where they wanted to send the paperwork to. This is how I remember the conversation. She calls me, she calls me, she says, Hey, I received your letter about su such and such property. Um, I would be interested in learning more. I said, great. What's your email? We'll send you out the information. Got her email. We sent out the packet. Didn't hear back from her for a little bit. Had, put her in our automated follow-up sequence, sent her some messages, some emails. Uh, she calls back, I think this was yesterday. And she said, hey, I have a couple questions about the paperwork. We answered. She signs on February 13th. This is a approximately $40,000 overage. And I believe they signed it like either it's either 30% or 40%. I can't remember. It is an estate case. So this is actually, we're helping an heir of the former homeowners. So we usually charge a little more on those because they can become complicated. But I mean, at, at 30%, that's, that's a $12,000 gross profit deal. Okay. So that is super exciting that number one, we're testing these systems, right? to help automate the marketing piece so that we can save time and become more efficient. But also we're testing follow-up processes so that the people we do talk to will be actually become clients. That's basically, that's known as your conversion rate where whoever you talk to, a percentage of those people will become customers. That percentage, whatever that percentage is, is known as your conversion rate. And that's a, a number that you want to focus on improving in your business, whatever you're doing. So super exciting guys. Um, I think I'm really close to picking a winner as far as what system that, cause we're testing a few of them, like I've mentioned in previous videos. And I think I'm really close to picking a winner and I'll let you guys know as soon as that happens. So stay tuned for that. Hope this helps you. Talk to you later.